After Andrew Tate's interview with Tucker Carlson, several Twitter accounts continued to play old videos of Andrew, despite the fact that he had already made a video indicating that anything that happened before 2021 had no bearing on the case. If you wish to join the real world, there is a link in the description. Solomon tweeted that Andrew Tay exposed the Matrix attack and that a video about Andrew's release soon after a hugely successful Carlson interview went viral because of its powerful resonance. The Matrix launched a coordinated campaign to discredit Andrew Tate after numerous influencers reached out to me to share how they converted from fans to followers after first being on the fence. Their strategy involved using selectively edited snippets and debunked videos from Tate's past that made no effort to conceal their intentions, aiming to manipulate the public. Sadly, they were successful in manipulating the feeble-minded people. In response, Tristan said, get rid of any hate or resentment you have towards women. Get rid of that. The same footage from the bad old videos was chopped up by Liz and her buddies to make us look bad. Remember what we said about taking short-form content out of long-form videos and ignoring all context. Same playbook, different attacker. We even discussed the old webcam studio here, and here's the video. That's the first thing you do. If she declines, that's great. Just keep in mind that you're not because I haven't done anything. I don't want any of you mothers to at the very least locate this video and bring accusations against me. Incorrect anyhow. Just saying you're clear. I'm going to mine. We're all going to mine. Or I'm going to mine to come to me. Oh no, I really want to go home. No issue. You should not ask again. Oh, I really believe you should come to mind. That's sad and submissive. No, you're not pathetic. A mature man, I don't have a problem going to mine now that I live in Eastern Europe, but especially in the Western world, you know, if you throw a girl at her house and upset her too much, you might just end up with me in your asterisk asterisk. For all those tough guys out there who want to treat women badly, I would strongly advise against it in every way possible. Through teamwork and happiness, not fear, because you cannot run this business. This is one of the biggest things that people don't understand about positively inspiring and motivating people through positive energy. There is no negative energy in this business. Essentially, do you want her to have a good time and do you want her to like you? I think it's because of the industry I worked in that people assume my brother or I are very rude or mean to women because men can't understand that some men just have beautiful women who want to have a good time. Who I am is just people who don't understand the frame of being a top-tier guy, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with being nice. I have a lot of hate on the internet, a lot of guys say that I'm a pimp and I exploit girls, and then some other guys understand it from my angle, and that's I've never forced anyone to do anything they don't want to do, and that the girls are sitting on a computer, no one's them, they're sitting on a computer, they're getting paid just like if they're singing in any other job, and getting paid they just haven't got the top on its personal accountability, and its personal responsibility, and when you see guys is out there who say like all women are garbage I believe them, because I believe all the women they get to meet are garbage right because they're bottom feeders they're low tier men and they're attracting low tier women and low tier people of all sorts attract each other they don't get to operate at my level and they don't get to see how wonderful women truly are if you're not having the success of women that you want don't go out there trying to blame women and don't go out there trying to change you you can't hack having a personality you can't trick a girl into thinking you're something you're not if you want a woman to really respect you then be a man worthy of respect it's really that simple and on top of that one of the easiest ways to be a man worthy of respect is to refuse to take disrespect. I see so many guys who let women disrespect them all day long. I think we all agree women test men, and then you have to be able to handle that and deal with it in a very, you know, conservative way. Obviously, you can't flip out and be crazy, but I've been on dates with girls where they just pushed it too far. I've been sitting there, and they're like, oh, you know, guys like you think this and blah, blah, just insulting me basically after about five minutes and guys take this crap from girls all the time. I see it all the time girls making fun of them or girls on a day or a girl talking to other guys. Well, she has a boyfriend. I mean, I know the modern world says that's cool to me. That's absolute disrespect. I was very polite when I said, look, I'm sorry. Um, you're an independent woman, so you can pay for your food. I'm not interested in speaking to you any longer. I'm leaving, and when I walked away, I'd never had a girl chase me so hard. Let me tell you that young women, like young men, are impressionable people who are trying to figure out how to navigate life, the sexual battlefield, the dating market, etc. So if you're her, you have no right to her and should ghost the relationship, leaving a mark on her perception of men and what she expects from the dating scene. 
Be courteous and take her out to a lovely dinner instead. I know if you take women out and treat them nicely and make love with them and you're safe about it and you're a gentleman and you say yeah, maybe I'll see you next week and you chat with them for a little while and you're still polite no woman's mad at you for showing her a great weekend. That's not the way women are when she opens herself up to you sexually and you are selfish enough to just block the you're dating teenage girls. You might better be careful. You have to make a good impression on the younger people. So when you're dating younger women, you have to look at it as though you're exploring a new wilderness for the first time. The people who are exploring the Amazon rainforest for the first time were the first to discover the Antarctic. You don't dump oil all over it, cut down the forest, and clean it up because other people will come after you. And you want it to be a nice, beautiful, healthy environment, so you shouldn't treat people in that way. And now that she's been there for probably a long time, she's going to have trust issues, she's traumatized because of him. And I'm in contact with that girl, and uh, yeah, she's okay, but yeah, whatever, but you want to discuss how harmful that is for women? If everyone would just pay attention for like a second, some of you are not leaving on the 3rd, so if you're leaving on the 2nd, or the 29th, or whatever date you're going, I know not everyone has flights back yet. You've all got George's number in your group, or mine personally, for any flight you need home, any day, any time. Georgiana, I don't know when everyone's leaving, just let me know when but let me know one day before I wake up in the morning. So I want to leave today because that's going to be a tough situation, but anytime you want to go, just let me know. I'll book everyone's flight in Georgia, and I'll do that as well if I'm too drunk. Okay, all right, I just wanna say that we're all very polite to the crew all the time they're here because they work so hard. We can't just be like, bring me this brings me that, please thank you, kind of stuff because they're hardworking and it's our reputation that matters. We don't want to be, as you'll notice with me and Triss. This boat is a very well-known yacht. The crew is amazing, and they're very talented. It's really important to all, oh my god, you won't believe this, but I'm aboard this boat. This nothing outlandish or dramatic Wallace, if you can avoid it, avoid drama. If I witness this, I'll tag a female on the opposite side of the boat. He's dead, so if at any point you decide you've had enough and want to leave, no problem. Just come to us and say, these guys, I want to go, and we'll have a water taxi here in 20 minutes taking the vortex to the airport. This way you won't feel trapped or confined and will be free to leave anything when you find a bike. Just in case of an emergency, or if you decide you don't want to stay here any longer, we'll.